once more bringing you update number 14 on the Martech M1 multi-tool the 22nd of October. So we got a new update now. So they're actually updating more frequently. It's an unexpected update. Usually they were updating these uh, these units every month or second month. And it's actually the 14th update we are looking at right now on my channel. And um, I want to briefly mention, you know, a, a initial just history of the project. So we originally were promised something in July, they pushed it then to month, and now they pushed it again. So uh, we are actually looking at something to be shipped at around two month time, and shipping time and so on and so on. So probably more like one and a half month or one month, it's eight days, you're going to be whole precise. So what we're looking at here is a project has been pushed a few times. And there is a tendency in these updates that I actually find a bit funny, but also something that I would definitely expect a newly created company to have issues with. So first of all, let's just um, look at the prototype and its progress first of all. And let's also highlight some of the visuals we're gonna see. So they gave us a backer update of the M1 development progress and they are now excited once again. Let's talk about schematics with some weird extra commas things. I, I mean, I, I, I usually don't, you know, pay too much attention to texts, but when I see the, the extra spaces, I kind of find it a bit weird, but not something that I want to I wanna put a lot of uh, energy towards, but it's just something that I do want you to find a bit weird. Okay, so we're looking at the housing. So I scroll down, it's like, wow, we actually have housing, but this looks um, surprisingly different to the original unit that we've seen pictures of in the past which kind of makes me think that the unit that we saw in the past was probably a bit more graphically generated. And now we are seeing the actual prototype of the M1 multi, multi tech uh, multi tool. What we're looking at here is a um, casing that resembles um, somewhat what they promised, but I must say that I do see the housing is a bit weird. The images are showcase a recent batch of prototypes of the M1. These prototypes are also far to test us, test the world with the device form factor, component placement and overall ergonomics. We designed each one of those in to ensure a snug fit for all the components while providing a comfortable grip. So, these images, as they say, showcase the recent batch of prototypes. Okay, so I, <laughs> what I find funny here is that they did say they were ready to be shipped um, in July. And that they pushed it again. So I, I still, <laughs> and, and excuse me for, holding the words for the video for you, for the viewer. But it does seem like that they totally underestimated the actual workload, the process, the, the time it takes. You promised too much. I'm not saying that this is not progress, it is definitely a unit. But looking closer at it, we can open, it's probably not the highest resolution, but looking at this, like this is, um, it does look like some, well, it, it, it looks like some 3D printed unit. And I have a 3D printer myself. I have a bamboo lab. Um, I'm pretty sure that I could do this and with some sanding, it would be more or the same. But then again, you know, it's uh, at least something. I'm a 
bit disappointed this time this update i usually kept myself enthusiastic about this but it's um difficult to stay enthusiastic i think when i see these kind of things so we are seeing these um not so polished units you know and i i just keep going down here's a fully assembled prototype so this is a fully assembled hands-on interaction let's just take this and zoom in a bit here so i think it's a bit you can see it here the screen looks a bit um not finished i would say and well it's a uh, if this was a home project, this was definitely, okay, let me be totally honest. If this was a home project, me buying the things, I printed all the things myself and put it together and put all the schematics, a single guy project, putting in 100 hours, something like that, this would be very impressive. Okay, let's just face it. But we're not dealing with these kind of things. We're dealing with an actual company, right? Well, are we? So we are dealing with some guys that probably over exaggerated this to, to some point. Now, this looks a little better. I would say the black came in and, but it, <laughs> I just cannot smile. Well, I can, but it's the, we also focus and refine the housing design for better durability and ease of assembly. We finalize the internal components, layouts, blah, 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 blah. Alongside hardware refinement, our software team has also been actively working on M1's firmware. We made significant strides in improving user interface, enhancing features like screen calibration, button response, and over the air updates. These uh, software improvements are being tested in tandem with new housing. And we're working on producing videos with a feature that we aim to give you a closer look at the device, providing visual updates as we make progress. So, we continue to support means this well to us and we appreciate your patience as we bring the M1 to life. So, okay, so, okay, what I read here is this is probably where they are right now. They came this far, okay? They told us they were this far. So they definitely... gave us too much you know the, the promise was too big so we are here right now this is what we are at guys okay so if you you're back on this project this is what you backed up so far this is what they're telling us they have don't think about anything else what you probably think you would like to have seen is this this is what you think about you know a more polished device with a more etched design that looks a bit more like well let's just face it you know taking the flipper zero i have right here and you know taking it into consideration that we can actually look at how you know this is not 3d printed this is real plastic real plastic that is uh, shaped in a mold okay so i i i want to say that this is uh how far we got so far and yeah um, <laughs> and I, I, I keep going back to the fact that we, we are seeing this. So am I disappointed? Um, well, yes, I am. Okay. I am disappointed. This is now my first video where I'm actually, I cannot support, you know, the, thing they did so far i'm not saying it's scam or fake or anything i'm just saying it's they need to come out you know come forth and say we were estimating too high we sorry we 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 had a lot of issues instead they're kind of hiding behind it which is kind of what i feel they should definitely grow on let me just continue now and talk about the housing and durability I, I do get it that they want to create a more polished design, a better housing, more flexibility and all that. I just thought you guys were done with that. You know, this is why we're disappointed. You know, you said more, you promised more and you bring this. So I'm sorry, but it's just not living up to the standards right now. This is why we are a bit, mm. but 
I'm gonna stay a backer. I really hope I'm gonna get it. I uh, will probably still use it, probably still love it as a gadget, but I <laughs> have hope for the this device here. This is what I, 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 I bought into, and this is also what you find on Kickstarter is, is just a different um, device. Okay, so there's a chance that they're gonna put a black, you know, layer of plastic up top of here and and it will look better and but this is just more shiny and this is just more matte and this is the kind of matte home 3d printing gets when you print it at home i'm gonna show you an example right now i have right here it's my it's my ponagotchi and as you probably see this is the kind of matte you know white i hope you can see it seeing the same thing on the screen um this is the kind of matte white we see on the units they present and if you take something like white as plastic um let me just get my original flipper here there we go this is this is the original flipper we have right here right it's flipper uh it's a, a different kind of white it's more shiny and it, it's definitely uh not the, the same um, material and it's not something you can do in a 3d printer this needs some mold it needs sanding and needs some refinement work and this is just a different build quality we're talking about so I'm, I'm a bit disappointed about this but let's just for now leave it and go to the talk about the software development so they down here talked about they're also working oh sorry the video they are refining their firmware yeah okay so i i just wished you guys would have been more transparent from the start you didn't have it you definitely communicated a way where it sounded like you had it so it's fair i understand it but you know you should definitely take some careful steps i would say that it's probably not <laughs> it's difficult for me to talk about this now because it's being it's just a weird thing okay so yeah i like it you know it, it's it's fine but damn it guys this let me just take this for image here right it looks um i don't know if it looks better but this is just like it looks like it looks like dry eyes i don't know just doesn't look like something that come from a mold you know if if, if you get my drift i see that there are some details it's great but what is this small plastic piece down there you know it's it's a typical uh 3d printing thing i i know a lot about 3d printing so i i definitely did my share of 3d printing and i printed more than uh, you know um, probably a thousand things on a 3d printer so i learn you know i i could do this casing myself probably better but it's uh still casing so I guess that's a positive part. The fact that they have their software team actively working on the firmware has kind of surprises me because if we need this to be shipped ready for Christmas, you kind of need to have this done. I, 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 I hope you were done, but you didn't. So I'm also going to go ahead and, and, and continue on to the um, backer reaction. Um, so we're gonna scroll down here, you know, just some, some of you guys do actually like the reflection and the transparency they give us. So I want to be honest, sure, I probably, even though this is the worst update I think so far because it kind of made me disappointed, it's also the most honest one. Let's just be 100% clear here. This is the most honest video so far. We see the process, we see how far they are. It looks like some parts they put together, you know, it could be anything, basically. Um, I I feel that they oh, underestimated the process totally, and they, they thought they could do it pretty fast, but they could not. So it's uh, probably what they should have written. Um, others are pretty frustrated about, you know, delays and, um i i did read this sophie h is a collaborator and she if when we read the comments here they she mostly talks about they wanted to take a moment to 
clarify. Uh, they wanted to provide a glimpse. They are not meant to showcase the current state of the device. And they apologize for lead to confusion. Um, and they want to share a bit of what's going on. Uh, so this kind of contradicts, you know, what we see up here. They do say it's a fully assembled prototype, complete with screen buttons and LAN yard. So what is it? Right, it's uh, if you read what she says and what it says here in the text, it, it kind of contradicts each other, which is, I guess, again, um, anyways, they are actually talking about posting more, and I think if they are this far now, um, <laughs> then we might. See more delays, so we should definitely hum more delays. Should probably happen, and they uh, we also have some backers here talking about are we track for December, and it's like yeah, twenty twenty five. So I wouldn't not probably say twenty twenty five, but I'm gonna keep myself skeptical about this. So talking about shipping and delays, you know I really hope you guys at Monster Tech thought this through because you definitely promised too much and you didn't deliver enough. It's a problem. Um, so I really hope that you live up to the expectations, live up to what Sophie H is talking about. Meant to be but it was meant to show part of what goes into the development process. The photos were taken at varying stages. I, I, Sophie, you know, it, it, the problem is that it says right here, it's a fully assembled prototype. Complete. Complete is a word that means complete. Which screen, it, It's just, I get it. Maybe she's an intern. I don't care anymore. Um... So, I want to end this video by, you know, talking about this more like from a personal perspective. And so, am I happy to be a part of this project still as a backer? You know, I, I, I put in $100 or something like that. It, it, it's not the money for me, guys, okay? I, it's fine. Uh, if I don't get it, I don't get it. I will not be mad. I will not yell. I will not say anything. I would be disappointed. Um, but it's going to be okay, you know, it's not something that I'm going to spend a lot of time thinking about, but I'm, I will keep bringing these updates to you guys, you know, and I will keep reminding you all that we are in a world that needs to develop more of these devices so we can have more fun with gadgets. And we are seeing, we are seeing progress, we are seeing units, this is actual units we see. Uh, full device assembly, Sophie H, you're gonna, you're gonna have to find your game and up your game a bit more, Sophie H. Are you listening? Sophie H. <laughs> so definitely need to focus on your communication skills because you're pretty bad at this. I always like to say that. Kind of horrible. So um, you have to focus on what you write because you are the, the person that is listed as a collaborator. So we take it that you wrote this and definitely I don't care about these images anymore. They don't, they, they don't mean anything. You should focus more on, as you also wrote here down below. Uh, there we go. Uh, working on producing videos that will feature. So live videos, as I also talked about in one of the earlier update videos I did for this project, live videos. You need that. We need to see it. People need to see live videos. We need to see a more polished device. It's two things that are so important. I'm going to re-mention this for you so you remember it. Live videos and a more re-polished unit. If you can bring that, the community will back this project all the way. But if you continue to bring unsatisfied updates, 
it's very difficult for people and for backers and for me to be, stay enthusiastic. So this was the M1 multi-tool master check unit update number 14. I hope you learned something about it and I really hope that you enjoyed my perspective on it. See you out there and have a really nice day.